G'day everyone, this is Rising Fun Gaming. Welcome back to another episode. We're just about to start the 18th turn. Let's get cracking. Alright, first up, let's go to the building side of things. We've got this third ward, which I want to start putting some stuff down in. But it looks like we can expand the second ward. We definitely want to get that because we can increase the maximum population we can have. And we'll also get uh, an expansion of what we can do with our facilities. That's the literal translation, exactly what that means in real terms. Maybe we can get some new things to lay out. Let's see. That may not come into effect just yet. So let's head on to our third district here. We have to fill... We have to fill a hundred, so that'll be that box there, because that's a that's a ten by ten. Now, how are we going to? Because I want to keep that five by five by itself, if possible. I guess we could chuck a few little things in there that we can erase at some other point when we find a five by five thing to plant there. If indeed we don't put that uh, eventual cherry blossom tree there. Doesn't look like anything new's popped up yet. Mm. I have a feeling the way that thing read before, the bonus for expanding second zone. Anyway, that's all guesswork for now. We might just uh, think about a general goods store. I'd definitely like another one of you. Boop. Yeah. As for who will chuck on you, I'm not going to fret too much about having the part time. Actually, yes, I will. <laughs> it's a waste of time earning two coal. <laughs> okay, who shall we pull off? He's doing pure oil. Oh, he's selling pure oil, rather. He's making natural oil. Planter, rather. Nuts. Those tones. Eh, we're not. We're probably not in such a bind for that now. And she's really good at general goods stores, so. Beep. Okay. Fantastic. That's nine squares done. Let's also do. Um, a farm of sorts. What would be the best? Oil, wheat, etc. Oh, we can probably get uh, peaches. So let's just uh, go to the manage side of things and see where peaches can be made. I probably could have done it from that other menu, actually. Yeah. Uh, if we look at the forests... Ah, so it's not in forestry. Flowers. Mm. Regular. Oh, it does matter where we go. Head on out to our first place. Surely, from here, there they are, peaches, okay, currently generating that plant oil, maybe we can stop producing the grapes more so, so who's responsible for that? Oh, grapes aren't being made. Oil, wheat, oil. Hmm, decisions. I think maybe wheat. And we'll regret that decision some other time, hey? <laughs> there we go. She can make them. Fantastic. 
Right, what else do we want to achieve? Building more stuff, that's what. So now that we know, I don't think I've got a an immediate need for them, but I want to put one of these down, just exactly what we should. Maybe it was a bad idea to get rid of that oil, so we'll just replenish it with this. Because surely that oil is required for the pure oil. I'll just double check. Of course. Now that's going to be our big money maker. Currently when we look at what's being attempted to be sold, we've got 4, 8, 13. 13 trying to be sold out of a total of 15, so we're going to run out next turn. I just noticed wine is on the menu here. That's not good. So let's change your article. Don't know if I want to sell those apple tarts. Hmm. Let's go for those cookies. Now he keeps talking about being good at farming. So I wonder if I should swap him off for someone. If we look at farming. I wonder if we should think about... Let's go to a forestry. Let's see the benefits of swapping you guys around. How good are you at food stalls? He's good at the forestries. He's C+. Uh, who are we swapping out? Her. Shops. Ah, uh, D plus for food. Mm, okay. Who else is in the field in a forest? Mm, no one? I see. And what was his uh, food shop? C minus. Uh, let's go back to this. No, this. He's forecasted to get 452. Let's go ahead and swap these two. Very good. And. Hmm? Oh, it didn't swap, it just took her off. When we put back this, she's forecasted to make 457. Hmm, okay. I'll accept it for the extra yields from that forestry, I reckon. I'll accept that, and I reckon I can do that. Uh, what else do we have to think about? Wine's gonna rip in a little while. Are we still happy to be trading red neutralizer? I think we are. Oh, we could start trading the Zetal. There's some money. Heck yeah. Oh, we should do that. General Goods Store. Let's start selling Zetal. We finally can. Boop. <laughs> I think the game made us do this so that we can really start cranking money from these general goods stores. Ooh, this is beautiful. That's all the general goods stores. What's trending for you? No idea. Wow. 
Right. Yep, yep, yep. What have we got you selling? The oil. That's fine, isn't it? So, one final check. Happy with that. Four. Eight. Thirteen. We're sustainable. But, we're really going to have to shuffle around what's happening here. So our base ingredients are looking okay. Don't know if we're going to run into nut problems anytime soon. But anyway, what will we do away with? We're currently not selling anything that requires this. Or making anything that requires this. Or at least I don't plan to. So might be time to do a mass cancel of those. Uh, do I want to completely cancel these? I want to knock them down a s fair bit. Z tool. Mm. We'll keep the Z tool. I think we'll knock you down. Timber, get rid of you for now. Right ho. Three more of those bad boys. Anything else that we should attempt? We still haven't made you, have we? But you're a cost of eight, so rip. Cost of six to make you. Oh, that's perfect. We should try at least making one. That's you sorted. Okay, let's crank some more pure oil. Let's go two. Settle's fine. I might give you a rest. See ya. And I reckon we keep those two neutralizers. Ah, uh, we've got to make one of these. Just because it's new and novel, and we can. Anything else new that we can just go ahead and make? I think we've made you. No, we've not made you. We can't make you. Ooh, what's this called? Well, it's some sort of, I guess, humidifier, fragrance humidifier or something. How interesting. So if you add some flame to it, you'll get some nice smelling smoke. It's a smell that monsters hate. Oh, so you use it in order to ward off uh, monster encounters. Okay. We'll make it. I don't think I'd want to utilize it anytime soon, but we'll make it. Just one. I'm assuming if you make more, the effect gets even stronger, like a lot of the other things in this game. How fun. Any other new things we should try? Cost of five. How much did each uh, oil cost? Seven. What do we got left? Twenty-three. Two to play with. What were we just looking at? This to cost of five to make. Oh, the other neutralizers were three, weren't they? Uh, so if we free up three points somehow, we could possibly do it like that. Mm. 
We'll make our first yellow neutralizer. Cool. I don't know when I'll need spruce anytime soon. So let's take it away. What does this require? I think we'll up you. This guy, I'm gonna get rid of. This guy, I'll get rid of two. Mm. Five points to play with. Let's sort by costs this time. I guess it's going to have to be this. Go on, you Murray. Next. Goodbye to Flower. Uh, oh, it's very hard to change this. I think we'll keep those three. Up you. Up you. Got one left. I guess we're getting that flower back, aren't we? <laughs> Thank you, Judy. And lastly, it's Vio. Vio san, what do we have you doing? Okay, I think we'll knock that off. Definitely knock these off. Spruce. Yeah. I think I, if anything, need to generate um, timber. Oh, it requires the nuts. And I guess with the rest, it's oil time. Where is it? I've gone past it, haven't I? Or was it already in the list? Wait, wait, wait. There you are. Four points to play with here. Excellent. We're very happy. Finally, we might need to do forestry management again. Apples. Let's change those to nuts. That's a good nuts, honey, honey, nuts, nuts. Ooh, very good. Anything else? I don't think so. Remind ourselves what we've got left. Make a thousand population. Oh yeah, so we just gotta keep going out to our new zone. Oh, how much money. It should be a pretty decent uh, amount this time. <gasps> Woo! Our population went up by 80 and we netted 1400, didn't we? Oh, delicious. So we've got, what, a total of 749 peeps and 20k coal. Oh. So how much did the pure oil make? Okay, 4k and 4k for Zeta. All right, guys. Pretty good. Got to keep developing that top place so we can uh, expand it out a bit. Oh my god. There's a whole bunch. Is this because I made a ton of money? Or is it just scripted for this turn? I still don't know how that works. I'm pretty sure it's scripted for the turns. 
but my god. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited because I see Sophie. Anyway, now okay. Oh look, there's a bunch of people I've not seen before. I wonder why they're here. It's not what I'm used to, it's just an ordinary looking place. If I'm correct, this is... Suel or something? Oh, maybe I am incorrect. We'll see. And then Sophie <laughs> is saying... And also, they're using different art. I like that they're not recycling it, right? Pretty sure. So, I don't think this has anything to do with the mysterious portrait or picture. I think uh, perhaps it's the doing of a device that transports people to different places. Oh, we failed, did we? Oh, I thought everything was going really well. Mm, yes, I thought so too, but it looks as though we've made something. Something fantastical. Hey, I don't know where you guys have come from. Is there something I can help you with, seeing as you've made it here? Made it here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to be loitering outside the front of your place and chatting like this. Oh, no, no, it doesn't bother me at all. From appearances, you seem to be travellers, is that correct? Yes, and my name's Sophie. I'm an alchemist. Ah, oh, it's Fierus. And my name's Fierus. And then... This is... Ha 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 ha. Good old Sophie. And it's... Ah uh, yeah, what was it? Lady uh, and Suel. Isn't that the name of that game? So this is Lydia and Su-chan. <laughs> and they're also... We're all alchemists. Lydia and Suel. Yes, yes, yes. Are they twins or something? They'd have to be. <laughs> nice to meet you. Favour us with your kindness as we will to you. Yes, nice to meet you. Let's do our best for each other. My name is Nelke and I'm managing the development of Vestvault. And to think, such a gathering of alchemists here. Don't tell me you're also trying to solve the riddle. Well, you're also seeking out the Gransvite tree. Tree of Gransvite. Gransvite? What's that? Sophie Sensei, do you know anything about this West Vault? I've never heard of it before. No, this is the first time I've heard of it. Ah, uh, Nelke, okay. about this place. Dot dot dot. Okay, cool. So I have no idea about um what happens after Atlia Sophie. So apparently she's their teacher. <laughs> I wonder how many years older she is compared to um, the Atlia Sophie game now. 
because I have no idea how much she was. She wasn't able to drink. She wasn't able to legally drink. That's all I remember. <laughs> right then, let me explain. First of all, Westvelt is... Da -da 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 explanations later. Oh wow, how fantastic! The Grants Vite. It's really interesting to think such a cool, awesome tree like that exists. <laughs> and I'm completely enraptured with zeal to find, un uncover the mysteries of it, I guess. Seeing as we've made our way out here, let's help with the investigations into this tree, shall we? Oh no, you, we shouldn't make hasty decisions like this to just go out on investigations without considering um, without considering whether Nelke-sama is free to do so too, I guess. Oh no, that's fine, no. We definitely want you to help us out in this end, to this end, to find the tree. You, would be very, very good. Oh, well if it's okay, I must admit, I am a little bit interested in it. Right, then perhaps we should. And along the way, maybe I can be able to show you some of the alchemy in use, teach you. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. Um, this tree of Granzweite. I wonder how big it is. And on top of that, I want to try to eat its fruit. <laughs> I like her voice actor, man. Furious, Furious seems really interesting. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, nice to meet you. Let's do our best for each other. Yes, the feeling is mutual. Sophie and Firas join the village, as do Liddy and Sowell. Wow! I didn't think they were going to drop multiple alchemists on us like that. That's crazy. So it looks like we've gotten even more alchemists in this place. Hmm. Something surely is up to be gathering such a number of them in the same place. This can't be a coincidence. Hey Misty, do you have any sort of idea or clue as to why this could be happening? Hmm, good question. Um, if I was to hazard a guess, everyone seems to... Oh, if I was to guess, it must be that everyone has some sort of relationship to the tree of Granzweit. Great Granzweit. <laughs> I would love to know the English of this, that name. Anyway, perhaps something special will be born of this place, of the earth, of the surroundings here. Um, but apart from that, I can't really guess too much further than that. Hmm. Well, perhaps if we continue our research into this tree, we will come to understand something. Very much indeed I agree in the face. Let's do our holiday. Visitations, actually. How's poor old research going? It's very quiet around these parts of late. That damn rubber tree. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alchemical clay. We need to make you one day. Ooh. Oh, that's right. The silt. And that honey. How am I going to make you? Hopefully we get a new recipe pretty soon. Alright, it's all pretty impossible at this point. No need to spend too much time worrying about that. Now this list is starting to get a little bit freaking crazy. Let's go talk to Barty Boy. Or maybe we should favour the newbies first. Replete with their low love. Oh, of course. How can I not do Sophie? Ah, Nelk. You've come at a good time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, and what would that be? I came here to confirm what sort of materials I can gather for my um, alchemy work. But... My collection, my my ability to collect materials is a little bit uh, lacking. Really? Oh, so the ingredients that she brought here, I think she wasn't able to maintain their quality, keep them preserved, perhaps. Let's just go through and see if we can work it out through context. Okay, well basically she's worried about the best way to gather ingredients so she wants Nelke's guidance. So would you be able to help me out by getting some with or for me? Yeah. If it's okay with you I would have some of your advice to this end. Oh, is it okay? <laughs> oh yeah, it's as thanks for looking after me. Oh, okay, so she must have offered... Hmm, she must have offered some sort of service in exchange for Nelke's help there. Kind of went over the top of my head. What's this? Oh, the services of her joining for um, investigations. And she's already level 9. Okay, she's starting at level 9. Cool. But her love. Her love is not nine. Is she. Uh, she's not in the love quest. <laughs> I'm totally calling them love quests from now on. What else? What else? Um. Lydia and Sewell? Who's best girl? Oh, what about, um, Ferris? Yeah, Ferris. I took a liking to her voice actor. Hmm, so Ferris, you've come here on your on your travels, haven't you? But it's weird, you don't seem to have lots of baggage with you. Hmm, yeah. Not really, huh? I don't really want to be weighed down by lots of baggage. All I really need is enough to help me in my um, investigations in this area, so I don't bring any surplus stuff. I think she's saying I can cut down on weight by not bringing some of her tools for alchemy. I think she can find other ways to mix and or make the tools at the site where she goes, perhaps. All right, you can do such you can do such a thing, can you? Hmm. I couldn't really imagine this. Really? Well, how about I show you about my ability to go so I guess minimalistically. <laughs> God, that's bad translation. I guess I can prove all this to you next time we go on an investigation together. If you see me in action, it won't be difficult to understand how I go about doing things. Hmm, that's true. Well, perhaps upon viewing how you do work, 
I might be able to gather some sort of knack for increasing the efficiency of um, our work here. Then I would be very glad to have you on board. <gasps> really? Great. Thank you for inviting me. I wonder if I need to do these events to get them to join us or if it's just a little bit of story filler. Let's see. It really is because we don't have Lydian so well yet. <gasps> Interesting. Good to know. What are we going to do? I think we're going to go straight into new area. Don't believe there's anything that we're super, super desperate to grab. Also, what's this telling me? Yeah. I wish it brought me straight to the damn thing. Here it is. Ah, oh, so you make more than more than ten thousand in one turn. Apparently, we've already gotten the. Oh no, we have not gotten this one. It's a hundred thousand. I thought that was weird that we had it in the list, but we didn't have the medal. Unlock you. Goodbye, a thousand. Running, as always. Let's get the. Mm, should we spend another thousand on? Yeah, experience. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah. Fine. I'm happy. Time to go. Oh, we've got at least two. Oh, we have three new things. Cool. So they're already pretty high levels. Everyone's still just this C minus for a gathering ability. Maybe that'll be the next 25 points we spend. Get someone to be better at gathering. Alright, I think this is the team we're going to go with. Oh, actually, no, I've changed my mind. Let's get 10 and 11 out for the lowers. 7. 9. Sophie, of course. Of course, how could I forget Sophie? Hmm. Might be a little bit clutch. Let's see how we go. Indeed, let's continue onwards. Run. Oh, new enemies. Let's go back to manual. Alright, a little bit weaker than I was hoping. We'll chuck the burst on straight away. Time to use an item. And it's going to be... Big ol' bomb. Right here. 168. Mm, we're not taking too much damage, thank god. Goodbye. I forget which recipe we needed mushrooms for, but I'm glad we've got them. Uh, do your best. Crescent prick. Wow, that did more damage than I expect. Let's see this move in action. <laughs> what are you? Star platinum. Cool. We survived pretty easily. Very white cap. Looks like a red cap to me, though. Cool. It stopped running after this. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is pretty strong, actually. <laughs> 
do this for... Who will we buff? Let's go now, okay. It's better be worth it. Battle skills novice. Hang on, let's say this. Use Nelcast skill ten times. Okay. Cool. Oh, also, seeing as you're the main alchemist, let's see what your four gauge here is. It's called. Aegis Field, or Aegis Field, Aegis Field. So using the skills and knowledge of the Alchemist, everybody in your party will have a damage reduction and it will increase our uh, heal HP. Cool. Something I should experiment with just to know what they can do. Is having different alchemists as I guess the head alchemist because if you've got two alchemists in the party I don't think I've never found a way to switch between their two different ultra attacks or whatever they're called how hard are these um, digging events to come by? Oh, we failed. Damn. Well, we've been we've been cutting it really fine many times. We were bound to fail eventually. Uh, I felt that I timed it pretty good, so I'm not sure if the level of the characters present also affect the running ability. Anyway, we've got the Sun Crystal Stone. Beautiful. It's got a heat energy in it, shining light, etc. What's it used for? Oh, it's good as like um, a protective talisman of sorts, maybe. Used to make it. Something like that. This one is Kimba Ore. It's like a, I guess, a steel ish, steel like. Or oh, okay, we'll just have to see what it's made for used in. And this is junk articles. So these are sundry broken relics found in old ruins. You should be able to revive them and reuse them somehow in alchemy. Hmm. It's interesting looking at what's in there. <laughs> so we've made those two. Yep. Uh, Nanami has moved. Wow, look at all the new recipes. And honey is in there, at last. Pretty happy about that. Oh, I get it. So when the alchemists come to the town for the first time, they introduce all these recipes. I think that's what's been going on. I think that's why we get them. Brilliant. So this is some sort of steel ore stuff something like that excellent what are you some sort of pocket watch okay so apparently it opens up and plays a melody when you approach danger so it saves you from precarious situations. 
it is said. However, in truth, You ha in order for it to work, I think you have to have experienced that level of danger f first, something like that. So it won't work until you've experienced the, that level of danger, maybe. That has to be iron ore right there in the ingredients. This makes uh, Sylvalia. We know what that is. Make all the cool things with the Sylvalia. Honey. Doesn't really need much of an explanation. And this is super hard ingot thing. Requiring a very mysterious ingredient up the top. Oh, this is used as a building material. As the sort of framework. <laughs> As I understand it, anyway. Sweet. Yeah. Give me those points. Two points, tell her five. See you in a while. Uh, remind ourselves of this. Hmm. A couple of bats need their butts handed to them. Okay, now. Maybe we should head to this. Gotta keep uh, placing stuff up here. That's a long way away. Okay, it's gonna have to be two Atlias, surely. Let's get into it, Atlias. Ah, uh, before we p commit to that corner, we might have to put a road down to maximize our space. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to do that in a neat, lovely manner. Three, four, three, three. We could possibly do a little cross, assuming we want to do three by threes for the rest of this region. Might give that a go. Eh? That doesn't solve a problem for that, uh, that west. Oh, maybe we can just chuck some decorations there, because we've got nothing boosting this area yet. Uh, rather than experience gain, as useful as that would be. Got anything boosting yield? I forget. For, like yield for alchemy. That'd be sick. Nah. So probably experience is the best. Something like this. Nine boring barrels. <laughs> hmm. Good question. Uh, we'll have Sophie here. Come back there, Sophie! 
still got a cute little um whale necklace. Oh, I can already commission you. Why has she got this music? This isn't from her game. It must be from a later game that she stars in. What is this music, man? <laughs> oh yeah, honey. I forget what we need you for. I think research. Let's get you making... I'll just smash out a whole bunch. Why not? I think our oil is sustainable. How about alchemical clay? Can we make it yet? Ah, oh, yeah, because the junk. Seven. Cost of seven. What else is new? Oh, we can make a crystal ball for the first time. But perhaps it's smarter to make the... Oh, it's eight cost. There you go, Safe. Do your best, mate. Uh, now we're going to make... Another one. We'll put Fearus right next to her. Because I don't want to separate the twins, if they are twins. And also, Furious is a fucking champ. Pardon the enthusiasm, I mean language. You can make this. Cost 10, wow. Whoops. Can't make you yet, you either. Oh, we can finally make you. Let's... At least two. Tempted to get stuck into the bombs again. Don't think we've got any raging need to get these healing salves. Hmm... Maybe get you some oil. Maybe get some Zedel as well. Oh, we haven't got any of you and we can make you now. Cost of eight. Oh cool, here's the healing aroma. Cost four, hmm. And then... Bombies. And <laughs> we can only make two. Okay, we definitely want to change the... Oh, there's a few more points we can spend. Definitely want to change this up next turn, surely. Uh, five points. I've only got three of these. Uh, 22 of this. And after that. Good old wheat. Of course, I will leave it up to you. Heh. That leaves us with... Three more buildings. So we'll be able to expand out after two more turns. Unless we plonk down a whole bunch of barrels. Which, as tempting as it is, we will decline to do. 
now I've got two free alchemists should I finally oops cancel shall I finally um send some people out question mark what do we need in particular mm, the drinking water and the fest would be good as with the puny balls uh, that's just the collection quest so they're not going to get too wrecked although their levels are pretty high even though they're new to the town would we dare put them out to these places I don't think so let's go here Liddy oh what's this Oh, that's just a general list of what's available in the place. Okay, cool. Everyone is C minus. If I sort by level, sorted it by level. Okay, yeah, it did it properly. Oh, even though. I was sorted by level of those not doing something in town and then those doing something in town. I wanted to compare the amount that it costs. So it's 45 for these two. But it's 55. So it's 5 extra with each level. Okay, interesting. So if they're costing more, I'd also assume that they can collect a little better. I wonder how it'll go if we just put them two out there by themselves. Will it allow us? Oh yeah, they're in the middle of doing it. Mm -hmm. She's in a bind because we're out of wine. I'm good at the rhyming thing. Oil production has been good. So guess what you're selling? Problem solved. Oil, oil. We might switch you to oil. The rest. Oh, you're selling wood chips. We don't want that. Oh, those polished um, water crystals are the most expensive. Interesting. There you go. Let's do a little bit of math here, hey? We've got 28 in stock. We are currently attempting to sell 4, 8, 12, 16, 21. We are safe, I would say. Okay, that's pretty easy. Don't think we'll touch the crops. Until we see how feasible making this stuff is now. Mm, we got a good amount of nuts. Natural oil. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's double check how natural oil is being produced. Got him on the job, 36 per turn. Ah, we've got 50. Ah, we've got 64. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Pure oil production, not looking too difficult. What are we going to slash from here? These. Maybe these. 
this. Remind me. What do I need for you? Clothes. Or cloth, rather. And how about the bomb? Red. Okay. Red. Ah, it also requires oil. Mmm. Excuse the squeaky chair. Mmm. <laughs> Damn. We'll hold off for now. And instead, make it bombies. Cool. Oh, that was six per. Five points to play with here. I'll make one of you. <laughs> and... Timber. Yeah. Good on you, Ellie. We happy? I think so. Oh, we might not need this bad boy. I feel like we should continue with you, though. Make it double. <laughs> Let's knock you completely off for now. Giving us a little bit of leeway. Up that. Yeah. Up that. Hmm? Oh, I'm at full. Perfect. Don't know if we want to change anything there. 90 of 90, I'm happy. 88 of 93, we can do something different. So let's... Scratch the timber. Should we start thinking about... Uh, spruce? Oh, I could make more of these. I just forget how many are being commissioned elsewhere. Probably not much because the cost is very high. Oh, it brings us even. Yeah, I have a feeling alchemical clay is going to be pretty uh, handy. Now, before we commit fully to that, let's check our research. What do we need? Five of those polished crystals. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Completely blanking on how many of those we had cranking, if any at all. Were we not limited by something? Ah, not quite. We should aim to make at least four of these. It's a cost of eight each time. So we want to free up... F what is it? We need four times eight, thirty-two. Okay. Two more to make. 
Who will we squeeze it out of here? Maybe you. Sixteen we need. Knock a Zettle down. Knock one of you down. We need to squeeze out another two points somehow. So yep. Brilliant. So that'll bring the second piece of the puzzle to you. Uh, Comet, we still don't know where that's coming from. We've got that alchemical clay on the work. Uh, we don't know where that second one's coming from yet. Honey's on its way. Also, ah, uh, of course, it's going to be the twins, isn't it? So we really need to do something about their love points. So we'll definitely keep that in mind for the holiday. Okay, that's fine. Rubber tree, comment, okay. So we've placed down two new buildings. Shops and alchemists managed. Crops I don't think we're gonna change. Uh, I think we're good to finish up for the building aspect yeah Ooh. here we go what is it Kunos wants us to defeat some monsters as always and our reward is escaping the crop yield down effect Oh god, level 9s. Ah, shouldn't be too bad. Let's bring our two newbies. Mm -hmm. So we've got Ferris at the head here. What's her special? Allo Arrow Lane, is it? So some sort of a rain of arrows will fall upon the enemies. Gives them damage and also uh, it resets their turn gauge a bit or something. Cool. Not that we'll afford it, probably. Oh, we might get her up to four before this is ended. Maybe. Probably not, though. <laughs> Damn. Cursed. Agility strength up for our beefy boy burst as well. Mm, this will be good. Going to go ahead and use an item. We've got 15. So we still don't get that effect till we have 50 of those in stock. Slowly, slowly we'll get there. Nice. Too easy, mate. We got some mushrooms. Avoided crop yield down. It was a good experience. Ah, oh, a bit of love for Sophie. Happy about that. 
Bit of love for Furious. Also glad. Yep, saying the same stuff. We avoided the trub. We avoided the big trub. And we're already at the end of turn 19. How do we go? Plus 63. Ah, we get an approval rating bonus for being in the black once again. Up to 70. Whew. So we netted 6.7k today. Ruh row. Italia does not have all the ingredients. It's not a big surprise though. Oh, she did well. She sold six Zeta. Ooh, more than forecast today. Lucia has visited, has joined the village. And there she is. Ah, oh, I'm completely worried. I think I've completely, what's that? Lost it? Lost sight of it? Oh, are you okay? What's wrong? Are you searching for someone? Ah, uh, yes, I'm searching for someone. Uh, thank you for helping. It's a pair of twins. Ah, there you go. So, Lydia and Sewell confirmed twins for me. Uh, I've known them since I was very young. And, uh, what other clues can I give? Oh, yeah. They, they have a poor, they have like a peasant poor appearance about them. What? Ah, uh, yes. That's the feeling right there. Wow, is she... Is she looking down on them? Looking like... Saying that they look poor? Who is this girl? Get, it's Lucia? Whoa, why are you here? Are you a stalker or something? <laughs> That's very rude of you to say. Um, I'm your older sister, after all. Oh, really? Okay, what? <laughs> I've come to make sure you guys are up to no good. No, make sh <laughs> I've come here to make sure that you're doing the right stuff. You're doing well. Oh, you're the older sister. N no, that's not correct, says Suel. She's not a red stranger. I don't know what that means in Japanese. Literally, she's not a red stranger. So maybe she's not a stranger, but at the same time, she's not our oldest sister either. Uh, Lucia, she is, let's say, a very annoying, troublesome person. Lucia is her name, is it? Well, in any case, my name's Naoki, nice to meet you. This here, uh, Suelle, has been helping me out. Well, if that's the case, how about I help out too? On behalf of our family's name of Volteru, Voluteru, Voltaire, maybe, I will show you the proper side of our family. Something different to this, this poor facade, this, this, um, like, you know, poor person for this poor person appearance that my <laughs> twin sisters, man, she's harsh, look like. Lol. Okay. Research. Fira says, Excuse us, we're coming in, Nelke san. We, um. We came here to ask you about the Tree of Grant's fight. <laughs> oh, it's Fira and Sophie. What could this be about? The first time we met, um... Densho, is that legend or something? Transmission, folklore, oral tradition... Okay, so when we first met up, we were talking about that folklore, I guess. Um, so we already talked about it. Is there something else, I guess, she's asking? 
Well, we were thinking, when it comes to something called the the ancient wise man's relic, we wanted to know something else. I think if there was something else. Oh, if we could get a good grasp of just exactly what type of item or thing this relic is supposed to be, then perhaps we would be able to understand things a bit better and uh, find something out. <laughs> there might be some sort of system or connection or I don't know. How would I translate that? Some sort of method to it? If it was something that a similar person, same person has left behind? Very, very hard to understand that sentence. Okay, she's positing something about the things that we have found the most are recipes. So perhaps this is wrapped up in finding out the mysteries for these relics. Recipe? Do you mean synthesis recipes? Alchemical recipes? No, I'm speaking of cooking recipe. What? Cooking? Yes, I'm speaking about cooking. Um, Ingo. Oh, okay. So, in truth, not only the alchemy recipes, but food recipes are one of the most famous and important accomplishments of the wise men. Oh, I understand. If you eat a delicious meal and fill your belly, then that's a way to become truly happy. <laughs> but that may be the case. However, these recipes that have been left behind by these ancient people um, up until now have been producing things that don't seem particularly edible so we've been using them instead as materials and through using these recipes oh I'm sorry this conversation is just really screwing with me Something about lots of food materials used in different places. They were becoming scarce. But through doing all of this, whatever process might have borne other um, sort of inventions or products or synthesis items. Oh, God. It appears, though doing this provided well for the people and it helped them continue to to live in a nice world i guess <laughs> i'm crying mm -hmm, i see so the power of having good nutritious food around is very very great thing. Hmm, that's right. Um, apart from cooking recipes, is there anything else? <laughs> what the hell did you say? <laughs> Something about protecting from 
some sort of diseases. There's some legends about yeah recipes protecting from diseases. But she believes most of the things that they had, they haven't been able to be found or they haven't really been left behind. They haven't survived the test of time, maybe. Oh, really? Most of the things that the wise people, the wise men did, or the old people did, after their death, it was revealed through their diaries, through their records, records. And speaking of these old wise men, I think they were too shy. They weren't good at accepting thanks from the people. I don't know. Does that mean that they didn't really socialize? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I've lost it, man. <laughs> And because of this, various recipes have, in turn, been passed down through generations, I think. And it's become clear that it was them responsible for spreading this knowledge. Oh, there were some people like that. I think she's referring to their sort of humble nature they didn't really want to be praised but they were doing noble work nonetheless um if it was me i would be quick to go and praise them as much as possible <laughs> mm -hmm, i see and um if i think about it those sorts of people probably hid the tree and other such things so perhaps it would be best if we try and search from place to place and uncover where they've hidden this tree mm, the place speaking of which searching for the place where it is is going to be more difficult than searching for the tree itself I think with the nuance that it's being hidden. No, it shouldn't be too bad. If we were able to make some sort of uh, detector device or finding device, literally, I guess, um, we should be able to do it without too much trouble. Yeah, and I don't think it's going to be too difficult to make such a thing. You can make such a thing? Wow, you guys are fantastic! Oh no, stop, it's nothing. You're making me blush. Uh, she's not literally saying making me blush, I just thought I'd flourish it. Just flourish it. Um, so, we'll just go ahead and organise our recipes ahead of time and... How about we go ahead and try and synthesize it? So leave it up to us. Wow, apologies for those bad translations. Mm. TLDR, they were talking about, I guess, recipes for food and it's important and only natural and human to be uh, considering recipes for food as important. I still can't do it, I give up. Now, are we any closer to achieving... Nope. Nope. Patience, boy. Sophie immediately. Every time. Sophie, how's things going? Oh, 
oh, I really like it here. I'm feeling stimulated in this environment with all of the others around me. So this place really is great. I've searched many places in my travels. Um, and even if this place doesn't get any bigger than now, I still think it's got a great feeling about it's going to be great. Thank you so much. I'm extremely coolware that you said that. Shining grandness or something. Coolware. Oh, it's an honor. It's such an honor. So speaking of Sophie and Co, you found yourself on a journey, didn't you? What was your purpose of this journey? Well, to tell the truth, um, if I'm pressed to tell you, uh, we were traveling around the world in order to increase our knowledge on various things. Um, but to say that we were aiming to come to this place would not be the truth. <laughs> That's a bad translation. Um, to tell you the truth, this wasn't sort of one of our goals coming to this place. Oh really? I thought maybe you came here with some sort of goal in mind. Well in truth, the grand goal that we did have we've already achieved and we found ourselves, I guess, still on the journeys regardless. So I guess we were at the point where we wanted to formulate another new goal, a goal which would help us help out lots of people. <laughs> ah, that sounds really fun. Sophie's alchemical abilities are really quite fantastic. You're able to make really great things and searching for what is ah oh. she says searching seems to be quite difficult though maybe searching for such a great um person oh no no uh there's still lots of things i'm yet to learn humble for example i think there's many mysteries that are waiting to be um, solved in this area. And such mysterious things, I reckon, can be um, found all throughout the world. And if we can one day uh, uncover the truth of these mysteries, I think it's going to be a stimulus or an inspiration to uh, make a new goal for our research themes. And upon having such experiences, maybe one day I will come across such a grand thing that I would like to spend all my life researching or something. Something that you'd set, you'd set as a theme or a research theme for life? Wow, this seems like a grand, this seems like a very involved uh, conversation or story. Mm, yes, but it's just uh, what's going through my head at the moment. 
Uh, I don't really know if I'll come across this theme, but... For the meantime, I'll just spend my days talking to many people and trying to exchange as much information as possible. I believe that there's plenty out there that I'm still let, yet to know about, yet to learn. Well, the people that we've gathered here are full of various different experiences. I'm sure that you'll be able to have many interesting conversations. Mm, yes, I'm very much looking forward to these conversations. Wow, what the long talk. Now we should probably talk to one of these girls. We don't have them in a jewel, do we? All right, Liddy. Hey, Nelk-san. How about we go on an investigation together? Hmm, that'd be great. Thank you very much. But why do you want to join all of a sudden? Well, it looks as though almost all of the alchemists that are here are already joining you on these investigations. So I want to as well, I guess. And perhaps it'll give me an opportunity to come up with some new ideas. Oh, I see. Well then, when you go, please apprise me and I'll do my best to help. Understood. See, that was a nice brief conversation. My brain's not exploding on that. So that's going to do. Well, let's go to this. Let's get our run on this time. Then I'm going to put you in. Are you happy? But will I swap? Oh, can I change order in this menu here? Also, what's this? Cool. Eight points. I want to change their order. I guess we're just going to have to take them off. Oh, this is annoying. Sure, there's a better way. Screw it. Let's do that. Okay, okay. Let's run. Might be enough running. Oh, she isn't the head. How was I supposed to structure that? Oh, I think it was the other way around. Lol. <laughs> Alright. Well, I won't mind seeing her rain of arrows when we get it. Which we should. I reckon we just auto. I remember that. Oh, 
She's hungry, of course. Oh yes, finally the digging event. Is it going to cost a gauge? There might be something rare. Let's do it. It does does cost a gauge. Just like the um. Well, that's some different looking dirt, isn't it? Looks like we got some good quality materials. Sweet. We're gonna make it run. Nice. And let's go to manual again. Arrow rain. Ooh. Nice. Bombies for you. Oh, it was worth it. Oh, I should have used the lightning one. Just to see what it was like. Sweet. Yay! <laughs> we have another hungry Atlia. Oh, you can get fests out here? Or maybe that's from the digging. So you're the new one. So what's that? Deep red soil. It's got... It's a mysterious soil that houses the power of fire. It's got a deep red colour to it. Um, and you can use it in the uh, cultivation plots. So maybe it's a fertilizer type thing however oh no it's devoid of the same it's devoid of I guess the minerals and nutrients that so it's got its own powers it's got its drawbacks because of the lack of nutrients so it's best to mix it with some other fertilizer or something now I've gotten a few things like that I'm assuming we needed that other soil for the sakura tree didn't we so there might be another special type of tree that this is used in I have the feeling it's not used in synthesis um, I'll be glad to find out that I'm wrong about that though that would be acceptable Now we've got some new recipes here. Uh, we haven't got any new alchemists come, so there goes my theory about that. Oh, nice. We've got that comet finally. Yay. That's interesting because we had to... We had to get that on investigations in Atlia Ellie, but it looks like it's a clothing item that we craft now. Pretty sure that was the same name. Anyway. We've got this um, globe, whatever it's called. What do we use you as? Is it just a general goods item that we sell? Oh no, it's actually a battle item. Let's read this. It's a globe that shows the world... However, it doesn't represent a map of this world. Its purpose is not for maps, apparently. <laughs> its only use is as an explosive. This is an explosive item. <laughs> so as you spin it, you'll get the power of the stars and it'll do a very strong bomb blast. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I forget what this one was called in the English, but it's also a battle item. It's an aroma candle of sorts. And the smell is like the breeze blowing through a field. 
very fresh smell. It's got a effect of relaxing the body. But on top of that, it's also got lots of medicinal qualities to it. And all you need to do is to smell it in order to heal wounds. Brilliant. Kometo. Also, what did I need for these? Good. Bad. Good. Oh, well, we can readily make these as well. We definitely need to do that for the search for the purpose of research, don't we? So this is like a sun crystal or a warm crystal, something like that. It's a manufactured gem of sorts. Once it's fully completed though, it has a green color to it. And you can increase its luster by polishing it. Uh, but you gotta be careful not to over polish it because you can decrease its size. So you have to be very careful and use discretion of how much you polish it for the best article, the best <laughs> result. Cool. Oh, speaking of which, Lucia-chan, you're an alchemist as well, aren't you? Seeing as you went to all of this trouble, how about you help me out at one of the Atlias? Eh? Oh, that's why we got the recipes, maybe, because the older sister's an alchemist. I forgot about that. Huh? No, you should stop this at once. Lucia is very unreliable. Leave it up to me. It's very interesting, this little dynamic between big sister and little sisters, isn't it? What? What are you talking about? Um... Mm hmm. Okay. So basically they're saying she's not kind of, she's not particularly welcome inviting herself in like this. Ah, oh, the squabbles of sisters. And Lucia's obviously very not pleased with that. Not that her portrait is showing as such. I think they, s they saved a little bit of money with the production costs for Lucia. Recycling that same image all the time. I would like to be pleasantly uh, surprised that I'm wrong though. So what are you talking about? Why are you being so crappy? I, after all, have done my best to come here and save you both. Oh, oh no, don't cry. Ah, as always, she's being a crybaby, this loose Lucia. It's okay, here, here. Look, there's other work besides alchemy that you can do here. Yeah, yeah. You can do things like run the shop, or you can go and collect materials outside. Lots of different things. Hey, Nelke. Yeah, that's correct. Um, we don't only run outliers around here. We've got other stuff going on. And um, when you look around, um, you'll be sure to notice that we're shorthanded in many different... Uh, lines of work and after all Liddy and us Suelle and I are not used to other work outside of synthesis so dot 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 mm. so we need your <laughs> we need your Great abilities for other types of work. Please, big sis. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hmm. So that's, so that's the state of things here, is it? Well, I don't think I can disagree. I think I'll just go along with that. So I will, after all, go ahead and leave the Atlier ring to you guys. And as for me, 
I'll try and help out in some other ways around here. Okay, good. Maybe we can get her um, to go out on some uh, gathering missions for us. Now that's going to do, I reckon, for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've definitely enjoyed making it as always. We've finally reached turn 20. We are getting there indeed. We're only 188 people away from reaching our next big task or milestone. And uh, that's going to be very exciting indeed once we get there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. This is Rising Fun Gaming signing off for now. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.